watching News 8. CPA Dave Young is back with us this morning. Dave, thanks for a few minutes. Oh, it's great to be here today. All right, we are talking about the free application for federal student aid, or better known by the acronym FAFSA, the seven things people need to know before filling out the 2021-2022 FAFSA form. And we're already looking ahead to next year with this year's high school seniors. What's the first thing? Well, the first thing is if you haven't done it already, go ahead and get your, your um, ID. And remember, you need one for the student and one for the parent. So you, they, they cannot share it. And sometimes these can take up to uh, three days to get. So the first thing I would do is get your uh, student, uh, your, your FS ID. So your, your federal student I, aid ID. Remember, one for the parent, one for the student, and I would do that right away. All right, the FAFSA window, we should mention, opens up October 1st. So this is information that people need in real time to act. Number two, make sure you've got your Social Security number, and if you have one, uh, uh, number three, a driver's license as well, right? That's right, and then hopefully by now you have your 2019 um, income tax return done. So this is going to be based on your 19 income tax return. So have that handy. If the return's already been filed, it should be able to have, there's a tool that will take the information from the IRS database and put it right into to your FAFSA database. But I would have a copy of your tax return next to you while you prepare your, your FAFSA application. It's really important. And I'd also have records of your untaxed income. So that could be maybe you have benefits from, say, a, a disability or veterans' benefits, et cetera. Those would be an examples of things you'd want to handy. Last couple of things here. Uh, records of your assets, and we're talking about money at this point. And then make sure you've got a list of the schools that you're interested in as well, correct? That's correct. And with all of those things, that should be all you need. But my recommendation is to start early. On the October 1st, I would have, I'd be getting your application in. A lot of times it's first come, first serve. So get the windows opening, and I would, I would jump in the day when that window's open. All right, Dave. Uh, important advice for high school seniors as they look ahead to their time in college. As always, we appreciate it. Thanks.